Okay, I'm here in Dreamweaver 3 and uh, CS3, and I want to make a new site, but mostly I want to focus on attaching or kind of managing a new site, putting in my server information and publishing to the web. So I've already got a new blank page here, and I'll just go ahead and put in uh, my site title, and this is some text on my page. And I'll go ahead and select this first line up here, make that a headline 1. Now I've got a page. In fact, let me jump down here and I'll also put in a picture. So I'll go to the common. In fact, before I do that, let me save this. So I'll do a file, save as. Go to my, now let's go to my classes folder. And I'll put this in 125 Dreamweaver. And I've got a web pages folder. I'll click on that and I'll just put it in here. And I'll call this practice 4.html. And let me insert a picture. I'm going to go to my images. And I'm going to, I've already got a picture in here. So, and beginning early on, I'm going to say keep all your files, picture files, HTML files, CSS files, all in the same folder. As you get more comfortable with file management, then you can use subfolders. So in my web pages folder, this is where I just saved my HTML file. I've already got a picture. I'll double click to insert that. I'll, I'm going to put some alternate text in. So Toyota IQ. And now I've got a picture in my web page. Great. So now that I've got that taken care of, I'll just do a quick file save. And I'm going to go to Site, Manage Sites. Technically, I can go to New Sites, too. But I'll go to Manage Sites. And uh, I'll choose New, Site. And I'm going to put in some information for my new site. Now, for my class, I'll provide you with this information uh, generally in the first week of the term. For now, I'll just call this uh, my CIS 125 DW Coursework. It's a good name for a generic site and I'll put in my information. My web address is webdev79.cucc-webdev.com. Of course, I've got the HTTP colon slash slash HTTP protocol. Then I'll click Next. No, I don't want to use server technology. I am going to edit on my local machine. So I'm going to browse and make sure I've got the right folder here. So I'm in my classes folder, my 125DW folder, and my web pages folder. That's the folder I want. That's where I'm storing my stuff. Notice I've got an images subfolder, but that's the folder where my web pages are going to be. I'm going to select that folder. Next, I'm doing an FTP connection. The host address. I'll provide this to you. Your folder is going to be the same as your host name. Okay, folder and host name are the same. Your FTP login. And of course, each of you has a different password, so make sure you get your password in there. It's case sensitive. And then go ahead and, in fact, you could do test connection. Cool, that's a good sign. Next. No, don't enable check and check out. Next, just confirming my information and done. Now I have a site available to me, so I can just click done here. And off to the side, I can see the local view of my files. And if I sort, let me kind of give myself some more room here. If I sort by modified date, I can see that I've created um, just one file has been modified as of January 24th, 2009, which is today. It's my practice4.html. That file is active. And I've also got my Toyota IQ picture. I could go ahead and select that. So my picture and my web page are, act, are selected. And then I could upload them both. Or I could just select just my HTML file and go to Upload This. And when Dreamweaver prompts me, it is uploading at the moment. It's just my screen is on my other monitor. And I think I've chosen No for default. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the picture, too. So I'm going to upload that. There we go. So those have been uploaded. So now let me test it on my browser. I'm going to jump over to my browser and I'll go to um, right here. So I'll just type in my web address. There it is. The page I just uploaded was practice 4 and there is my page.